hi everybody today I'll show you how to make uh, flower from uh, sari ribbons these are all sari ribbons usually these sari ribbons are uh, like uh, from they are the strip of uh, fabric ripped from sari uh, like recycled sari like when they ma manufacture sari the end parts uh, have been the what do you say have been stripped to to make it into a ribbon and usually these uh, ribbons are of different color size and width and even material this one is silk one this is kind of a brocade one and this is organza one so so let me show you there are some few that I made before uh, I made this one very pretty came out so beautiful and I made this one I used a beaded trim and the size of the flower det uh, is uh, usually determined by the length and the width of the ribbon so this was like uh, this um, flower was made with this uh, like 30 inches long and uh, like, like maybe two and a half inches wide I think mm. so and these frayed edges gives a really good look on it so this one I use a uh, uh, what do you say sari ribbon and I cut a tulle and covered it with like this like I have this uh, a silk ribbon and then I cut the strip of uh, the tulle and I cut it and same length as the sari ribbon and I made it in flowers so that gives some extra um, shining to the ribbon then this one I use a gold cord that I had and came out very pretty this one is like made from a crepe material like color two colors like blue and purple good this is the other one made from organza one and this one was a small one so it came out a small one and they all look very pretty so let me show you so first of all you take a sari ribbon iron it and then fold it into half and then iron it so it becomes easy to work on it with it and then I have this uh, strip of uh, light weighted cardboard like and it's one inch wide and you can make any as long as you want because anyway you just going to wrap it around it and so now now when now you made it into half you iron it properly so it stays like this the whole length now you uh, going to wrap it so you put the fray edges on the top if you do it like this way then these fray edges will be covered so you want to to show the fray edges so we'll put it on the top and you just uh, go and cover this strip of fabric like this way in a cross and try to do it like a little tight so it won't come off and then just like this way see like overlapping it so, so whatever length of the ribbon you have just go the whole length Even you can make these uh, uh, kind of flowers from strip of scrap fa fabrics that you have. Uh, but if you have a silk one, they look really good. So now this end part, we'll just uh, put a pin. And don't put the pin in the cardboard, just on the ribbon because you'll be removing this part. 
so just securing it with the pin so you secure on the top and on the bottom and on the top too just the ribbon like so and now you gently pull this cardboard out you have a strip like this now you take any round like I have a wooden uh, doll this wooden stick like which is has a round on the top so we will take out this uh, pin and just go wrap around this whole thing this so you can take out the bottom part too this so you just wrapping around this uh, wooden stick and just take it up and you have round like this want to adjust it just adjust it now whichever size you want whichever you want to show like these kind of thing you do it so now I have a this uh, round circle which is one and a half inch round if you make it a big one the flower will be big so this is a perfect size one and a half inch for it and we have a glue gun ready here yes, so I will be putting a lot of glue on it you can use a what do you say fabric glue too let me show you how to I just want to show put the glue so try to put on the end part too of the circle because uh, you will be careful when you do it because this glue is sometimes very hot that's why I, sometimes I like uh, see uh, I like uh, fabric glue but, so then you just push this here down in the middle and make sure these end part is stuck here too hold it for a few seconds till it sticks like this way and now you will be opening it up like this way So you just open up we'll fix this one but you just try to keep opening up all the layers that it is here try to spread it as much as you can or how much you want and flatten it now this part if you want we can just this part we can just glue it here or you can even cut it if you want I'll just cut it because I don't need that part and then and still you can glue it here very easy as you start doing and it's hot so I'll just do it with this and just still as much as you want you just spread it like so you got a pretty flower and it looks already pretty and you can put any I got these uh, flower centers from crafty city so you can put that which I'll not be putting because this is for my daughter but uh, it looks pretty on it if you put it so and even you can put some 
this leaves also I got from Crafty City so you can put a, like two leaves like this way this way or you you can put even this of uh, uh, flowers I got from Crafty City too. I'll put her link down. She sells really good stuff at reasonable price. So you can put that also like as a center, which will look pretty too, being purple. And this is kind of a peacock uh, colors. And then even you can put a, I have some of these peacock feathers, which I've got it for my daughter's deck, some kind of decorations, which I'll, can put it here like you know it, you all have got great ideas than me so and put it like this way or this way and then so this is how it looks and now let me show you how to put this cord in it so now it's the same way uh, like I will not be doing the whole flower but I'll just uh, show you how you do it now you have this ribbon like this way and then you're wrapping it round first you will wrap this whole ribbon this way I'm just doing it like that way right now just to show you how you uh, put a cord it's a or a trim or even yarn or anything else even you can mix two uh, fabric together right so so you just do it like this way you stick it with the pin here and in the beginning beginning like now if you want to wrap this golden rod around it so just take out my so what you do you just you can glue it too if you want but i just left it loose so and then you put another pin on this one and just poke it in the ribbon only don't uh, poke it with the cardboard because then it becomes very hard to uh, remove it so once you have this attach just keep sorry I hope you didn't see it so you just attach uh, let me use a black one like this pin which I just attach it if you want you can put a little further you can cut this and and two And then you wrap it how close you want and uh, how far you want and then after you wrap it you put the rip this in around it this and then you take this whole thing out the same way pull this cardboard out you feel uncomfortable you can glue it too but I did not glue even the trim or anything and just cut it I'm not cutting it because I'm not going to make this into flour so you just cut it you take it out and then again you roll it and then glue it on that round circle and spread it so that's how it is so I hope you guys like the flower that I made and I'll be showing you some more so this will be like this pretty let me show you once again this are some other ones I didn't make many because I don't have that much time right now but I wanted to show you All right. this was the one of my earring things so I just put it it came up as a center 
and this is with the tube. This is another flower which I put the pearl beads which came out really good and even you can um, like put it like two three together also like this way and it looks pretty. So I hope you all like it and thanks everybody for watching and I've been a little busy right now so I haven't been able to do any more videos but I'll try my best to do a video and I do have to do a giveaway which I'll be doing it in December because I'm very very busy right now so thanks everybody for watching bye